Hello, good morning. Welcome to the session of uh, C Programming Language Laboratory. Today I will be discussing about the concept of uh, structure and the lab program related to the structure. So we all know that uh, structure is a collection of elements that belong to different data type. So when I talk about a person, if you are having a structure of a person, a person has his name, his um, age, his address, his mobile number. These are the different characteristics that come under a person structure. And here we are going to discuss about the program related to a student structure. So when I talk about a student structure, so what are the uh, basic characteristics of a student or what are the elements that are related to a student structure? First one is ID, you call it as a student USN and the second one will be the name and the third one will be mobile number. You can have any the details. So with respect to student, I'm going to consider only three important elements that is ID name and marks consider this marks is the overall average marks or percentage of marks he has obtained okay so these are the three elements that are identified under a student structure so if you consider id you can have id as a integer or character data type and name is a character data type and marks you can consider it as a floating data type so now these are the set of elements which are grouped under a common name with different data types. When you compare a structure with an array, array is also similar but they group only similar data type. But structure is going to group under a, with the different data types under a common name. So now let's uh, do this program step by step. So before doing the main program, so we need to first create a structure. So we have different ways of creating structure here I would consider one of the most common way of creating a structure by using a keyword called struct struct so the tag name of the structure so whatever you call a student structure so you can use it in within the flower brace and remember the structure should always end with semicolon so what are the three different uh, elements that we have identified one is int just to make sure that you know we have taken different data types I have used integer and character name since name will be set of uh, characters as a string so i will have some maximum of 10 as a size of characters and the third one would be marks that is float marks Okay, so these are the possible elements that come under the structure. So you call this struct student and the ID, name and marks, all these elements will come under the structure. Now, a memory will not be allocated until you create a structure variable. So this ID, name and marks are structure members. But to create a... Um, memory for the structure it is mandatory to have a structure variable so again the structure variable can be declared globally or you can declare it within the main function as a local variable struct student and I will be taking std so here the question says write a program to input the details of a student and print the details of the students who have scored above or below average so it means i need some uh, more than uh, uh, like 10 or 20 i cannot have only one single student right so i will take maximum so a class can have maximum some 60 students okay but i need not take the input of all the 60 students i will just uh, uh, take a sample three students when i am executing the program so very important thing the next step is what is that you need to input the details of each and every student say suppose you know uh, today in my class i have five students tomorrow it will be 10 so i want to know the size of the student in each subject so for that sake i need a variable called n which represents the number of students so based on this i can calculate the average how do you take the average average is equal to total divided by n right so here i will take the input of printf 
so here i am telling through printf statements to enter the number of students you need and i will use scanf statement to take the input of the n so when you are executing the program the first input that you are supposed to give is the number of students in the specific class we don't know which class it is but we are dealing only with the number of students now the next step is entering the details of id name and marks of each and every student in detail so i cannot if i have the 60 students in my class i cannot write 60 set of print of statements rather i would like to use the for loop so using for loop we are able to take the details of all n students in the class so for i is equal to n see here i have not declared n right for i is equal to 0 right from 0 i'll be starting or 1 you can start we have not declared i so i'll be declaring it so for i is equal to 0 i is less than n okay i plus plus if you are taking it from i is equal to 1 then you are supposed to use i less than or equal to n remember that whenever you are using array the index either will start from 0 to less than n or 1 to equal to n okay so now i will have to take the input for every student so what is that i am going to write printf so the first detail he is supposed to enter is enter the id of the student so better use slash n in each and every statement the next statement says scanf now i cannot directly access percentage d comma id so what is id id is nothing but a member of a structure so if i want to access the member of a structure it can be possible only through student with structure variable so how do i use it std of id so now again std dot id so remember since we are taking the details of each and every student and i am using for loop here so here you are supposed to use the first student it means std of i zero student first student second student third student so how do you access the members of a structure by using dot operator you are going to do it and similarly you need to take the input for all the other members now since uh, scanf statement uh, is taking the input you are supposed to specify the address operator and you all know whenever you take the input that will be stored in that specific address but remember whenever you are handling percentage yes or when you are using a string data type then you can you need not use ampersand operator here because the data is directly taken from the keyboard buffer and hence you are not supposed to use ampersand but here i am again using marks which is a floating data type i am supposed to use percentage f ampersand the student of marks so now how many times the loop will be iterated it will iterate based on the n size that is number of students the input we have given okay so now we have done only half of the program so what is that the next part of the program says you need to print the details of the students it's not all the students only those students who have scored above and below average separately so how do you generally calculate the average of the marks so you need to sum up sum is equal to just you know say for example you have 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 how do you sum sum do the summation and take the average sum is equal to sum is equal to sum plus so which is that uh, variable that we need to do the summation we are going to do it for marks so how do i access the marks student of i so every student dot student of i dot marks so initially you need to initialize the sum value to 0 and every time you take the input of the marks sum will be calculated automatically okay so this has to be done within the for loop so when i 
need to calculate the marks of every student and add it with the every student marks then it is required for you to uh, conduct the take the marks inside the uh, loop okay after conducting or after having the total summation then at last you are going to find the average of the student how do you calculate the average average is equal to sum slash n okay so this we will be doing again by taking the separate for loop for i is equal to 0 to n so what is the formula we are supposed to do sum is equal to sum plus student of i dot marks so initially it is mandatory for you to see we have not created the sum right now sum is equal to 0 if you do not initialize the sum value to 0 it will take some garbage value and add it with the sum so once we calculate the total sum come out of the for loop and here how do you calculate the average the average is calculated by total sum slash n this is the uh, common formula that we are going to use for average calculation right now the next part of the program says to know how many of them have scored above average and how many of them have scored below average in order to do this i have again uh, a very simple formula just by using uh, the comparison operator you will be able to check with each and every student so again you are supposed to use for loop if the student of i dot marks is greater than average so it means you are going to display the details of that particular student so how do i print the details of e so you need to open the flower brace because we have three set of the statements that is to be displayed so here you can write if the condition is true you are going to seek open here the, you are going to write all the set of uh, printf statements that can display id name and marks okay so here we are going to display the details of the student who has scored above average okay similarly we are going to display the set of details of the student if you want you can write again one more if statement or you can just write else part here or it's better we will use if statement if the same thing the student details of the student who has scored below average so for that sake we just need to change the symbol of less than whoever has scored uh, below average so those details will be printed so when we run this program please make sure you have opened the for loop so within the for loop you are going to check the details of the students who have scored above average and details of a student who has scored below average clear so when we run this program we will see for compilation errors syntactically any errors are there yes average so we have not declared the few variables that we have used you cannot declare average as a integer because you are dividing uh, the sum by n so the average will be in floating point so we will say average and uh, any other variables we have left out no so we will run the program and see yes no errors now enter the number of students so i will give three as a number of students so it will ask one by one enter the id so since we have given id as in teacher so 12 next enter the uh, name so we have given id only everywhere so we will rerun the program so when we run the program we will again see the number of students we need uh, three so when my first thing is it is going to ask for id so the next is name so i will take just abc as a name and the third one would be marks so i will give the marks as 85 just like marks is nothing but the percentage next is i want to enter the second student detail so i will take 13 as is uh, usn or id you can call it so the second person is john and uh, uh, the name is john and the marks he has scored would be 70 and the third id that i will be giving is 14 so his name will be uh, Mary. And the marks that he would be scoring is uh, 45, suppose. Okay. 
so now when i complete the marks of the student uh, okay enter the marks of the student so now we have got a correct answer so here after entering three student details of marks 85 75 and another one is 65 we have got the average of 75 now we have the student detail who has scored above average so who is that person the person with id 12 and the name is abc now we have the marks of the student as 85 so when we check for the student who has secured below average then the person would be number with id 14 so the name is mary and the, the marks that he would have scored will be 65 so this is the structure program what we are going to do again i would like to repeat this program so here we need to take the students n student details with id name and marks after taking the input of all these three so we need to calculate the summation of all the marks and find the average so once we find the average we need to check for each with each and every student who has scored above average and who has scored below average so this is the very simplest program and remember you cannot access id name and marks directly it has to be done only through a structure variable of a student okay thank you